Hi everyone, this is quality control of tablets experiment, the practical part. During this experiment, we will study and perform five different quality control tests. These tests are weight variation or uniformity test, which is an official pharmacopial test, friability test, also, it is official or pharmacopial test, disintegration test, which is also official and pharmacopial test, thickness uniformity, an unofficial non-pharmacopial test, and tablet hardness, tablet crushing strength test, which is also non-official, non-pharmacopial test. Again, these are five, not four, that we will perform. It is important to remember that you should always start with tests that do not consume tablets like weight variation and thickness uniformity tests, while friability test, disintegration test, and hardness tests consume tablets, which means that tablets after these tests are either damaged or have different properties and cannot be used for other tests, which is different again from weight variation and thickness uniformity tests, where we can use tablets after doing these two tests. In this experiment, we will measure the quality control tests for placebo tablets. Here are some instruments that we will use during this experiment. Now we will start with measuring the weight of 20 tablets. For this test, we will use an, an analytical balance. You cannot use any other type of balances. The sample size again is 20 tablets. Weight should be measured in milligrams. Again, weigh 20 tablets and record their weights in milligrams. Thickness uniformity test. Here you can see the tool that we will use to measure the thickness. It is called caliper. Caliper can be used to measure dimensions of tablets, whether length, diameter, or thickness, height. Here we will use it to measure the thickness of our tablets. Thickness variation test is done for 10 tablets. While using the caliper, you should notice that we will sum the read from two scales. The two scales are the main scale or the cylinder and the secondary scale which is the roll. Assemble the tablet in the right position as you can see. Then read the main scale, see where do the secondary scale stop. As you can see, there are four dashes in above the line and you can see the half sign dash after number four millimeter. While you can read the secondary scale by counting the number where 
the line of the main scale in the middle of the main scale stop as shown in this example the line stops at 34 34 represent represents parts of hundreds in millimeter then the number will be 4.5 plus 0.34 then the overall thickness of this tablet is 4.84 here is another example The main scale is measuring 4.5 again and the secondary scale is 26. It is 26 parts in hundreds of millimeter. Then the total will be 4.76. Do the same for all your 10 tablets. Now, hardness testing or hardness test. Just assemble your tablet in a diametrically plane between the two anvils of the hardness tester and push the test button. Then read the scale. Here is 19.8 remember the one unit in this instrument instrument is divided um, using four dashes then each small dash represent each small dash represents point two And another example. Surprisingly, it's again the same hardness. Remember to clean the area by a brush. And at the end of the test, you will collect the drawer and discharge the crushed tablets. This is 18.6. If you will use other hardness testers in the lab, just push the test button and read the value on the display of the instrument. Remember, we are testing tablets that are cylindrical or round in shape. But how to measure the hardness of tablet that of tablets that are oblong or caplets in shape? Hardness is the force required to break a tablet in a diametrical compression test. Then, these tablets should be assembled or placed in. A longitudinal manner between the two anvils of the tester frayability test this test is performed on 
at least 6.5 grams of tablets. 6.5 grams of tablets. As you can see, we are measuring these tablets weight on an analytical balance. We cannot use this weight, 6.48 grams. We have to add a tablet. Okay, now we can use it, 6.771. Despite the fact that the previous lower weight is closer to the 6.5, but we cannot use any weight less than 6.5. This is because tablets themselves will affect each other. So we are measuring the whole normal handling effect on tablets procedure. I place the tablet in the on the wheel or in the wheel of the friability tester. Close it and operate it for 100 revolutions for 4 minutes. Then the rate should be 25 RPM for 4 minutes. If you are using this instrument, the one we are showing you in the video, then you have to do manual or external timing external timing but again it should be 25 rpm for four minutes watch the movement of tablets inside the drum of the rush of this tester is named after the well-known pharmaceutical company rush after the time elapsed, remove the tablet. In a friability test, after exposing tablets to 100 revolutions, examine each tablet for any sign of capping, removal of the surfaces, lamination, tablet separation into layers in a horizontal plane, or breakage, any type of a breakage, if any. Tablets are considered to fail the test. If none, proceed de-dusting via brushing and final weight measurements. Here we are examining the tablet one by one for any sign of capping, lamination or breakage. Clearly, no one is showing any of these signs. And now, the dusting. Removal of the dust due to the test. And now weigh the final weight. The final weight represents the weight after the test. You can see that we need to use an analytical balance. Record the tablet's final weight. Place the tablet in a separate friability tablet's uh, plastic bag. You can find it with your instructor. The fifth test is disintegration test. This test is performed 
using the, dis the disintegration tester or known as rigid basket rack assembly and the sample size for this test is six tablets here you can see an overlook of the disintegration tester at the beginning please turn on the tester and turn on the heater and adjust it as 37 degrees celsius now clean the vessel and the rack as you can see for this test we will use 900 ml of distilled water as the medium adjust the volume at a flat surface now place the medium in the vessel the beaker of the disintegration tester and put it in the water bath allow temperature equilibrium assemble the basket after removing the discs or the perforated discs covers place one tablet in each of the glass cylinders of the tester rack over each tablet place the perforated disc use the direction you are see here before starting the test please notice the position of the upper white ring of the basket you should close part of each opening hmm. to avoid the escape of tablets from the glass cylinders after assigning who will observe each tablet start the tester commence the timing and the starting of the test simultaneously record the time required by each tablet to disappear from the glass cylinder i recommend the use of a stopwatch that provide time splitting Or otherwise you will need more than one stopwatch to do the test the time for each tablet to disappear from the glass cylinder should be recorded in minutes then record the time required by each tablet to disappear from the glass cylinder in a, the table and calculate the time required for each tablet to disappear in minutes thanks to mr amid tahir the lab technician and thank you all